Hello guys, welcome back to Mornings with Granny. Hope you're having a good day. I'm still working on craft stuff and today I'm doing a craft that is from Gifts in a Jar, Holiday Fun. And sometimes you can find these books at the uh, thrift store or maybe a local bookstore. Um, let's see, Thrift Books probably has it. Amazon might have it. But this is the Holiday bean soup mix we're doing today and it comes with the recipe card so i'm just gonna copy these onto some card stock and attach them to the jar but what you're going to need is kidney beans split green peas now i'm sure you can change these beans up if you want to i always go by the recipe the first couple times black beans red lentils dry red beans, split green peas. And then your seasoning packet is dried green pepper flakes. Well, I don't have the pepper flakes, but I do have this. So I'm going to use this. I had bought those for my hash browns. And chicken bouillon, minced onion, dried minced onion, salt, dried parsley flakes, pepper, garlic powder, celery seed, not flakes, but celery seed. And this calls for brown sugar. You can make it without the sugar, you can make it without the salt, you can change it any way you want to, but I am following the recipe. So that's what we're gonna do. I've already made one, and this is what it looks like. I haven't decorated it yet, but I just put the little seasoning packet on top because you know you have to look and wash the beans before you cook them so we've got another one that we got started right here i've already got the kidney beans in and it calls for a half a cup of each so let me move some stuff out of the way sitting here working and i've got a mess actually all right i'll put the fun on let's see get you about right there where you can see all right, we got a half a cup of kidney beans, and then it says a half a cup of split peas. Like I said, you can use whatever you have. Put it in, try to get your layers fairly even. Okay, um, black beans. Half a cup of these. Christmas is getting closer and closer, so if you're going to make stuff, you better get busy. All right, red lentils. We're going to use a half a cup of those. I'm going to quit saying a half a cup because all the dried beans is a half a cup, half a cup, half a cup. All right, let's straighten that out a little bit. And then... The dry red beans. That's the kidney beans, excuse me. The red beans are right here. And they're just food lion brand. You can get whatever kind, it doesn't matter. Put that in. Just even it up. Now it calls for another half a cup of split peas. I don't have quite a half a cup, so what I'm gonna do is put another thing of lentils in here because I don't have enough of the split peas. So we're just gonna do it that way. I mean, it is a bean soup recipe to switch things up. There you go. All right. Now that's for the beans, okay? Like I said, that should have been split peas, but I don't have enough. So there you go. You can switch it up however you want to. To make it easier, I'm going to put the seasoning in here, and then we're gonna put it in this little bag and tie it with a piece of jute, okay? So let's start reading, let's see. We need one tablespoon of green pepper flakes, which we're gonna use these. So, one 
tablespoon. These were on sale on Amazon, and they were cheaper than the last ones I got. The last ones I paid almost $20 for 10 ounces. These are 20 ounces, and they were on sale for, I think it was $16, which is a lot better deal. All right, two teaspoons of chicken bouillon. Now, some people don't like this kind, but this is the kind just about everyone uses, so that's why I'm using this. So, tea, two teaspoons. Two. Now, if you've only got bouillon cubes, you could use bouillon cubes. Just, I will take them out of the wrapper. And you could either crush them up or leave them like they are. Minced onion. And we want two teaspoons. One, two. And then we need one and a half teaspoons of whichever salt you want to use. It's up to you. I've just got this one, I think, come from Aldi's. This is a half a teaspoon. We need one and a half, so. And you can leave the salt out if you wanted to. Like I said, I always follow the recipe until I've cooked it and decide if I want to change it or not. Okay. I need a half a teaspoon of parsley. I don't know why I got rosemary out here. don't need it. Okay, move that back before I grab it. Of course, it probably wouldn't hurt to put it in there. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. This is come off of Amazon. I've got where I order a lot of my spices on Amazon because they're cheaper. Half a teaspoon of celery seed. Now, I've got celery flakes, but I notice when they say use celery seed, they mean use celery seed. Let's see if I can get that close. There you go. And then it calls for four tablespoons of brown sugar. Now, that's up to you if you want to put it in here or not. I'm going to put it in here because I haven't tried this recipe and sometimes when I cook beans, I actually add brown sugar, or not brown sugar, but some sugar to it. That's just up to you. But that's all we're seasoning. If you got any lumps from anything like the bouillon or the sugar or anything, kind of mash them out of there. You don't wanna, let's see that one's, there it goes. All right, makes it look better if it's not lumpy. Okay, now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You could sit it on top of the jar. Let me move the book. You sit it on top of the jar like that and do it like that, which I think we will. It's just up to you how you want to do it. Just make sure the bag is pulled up because you don't want to get it on your beans in there. Because remember, you got to rinse those beans. And then we're just going to try and do this where you can see. I mean, you know how to do stuff. So just carefully put it in the bag. But yeah, I thought the name of it was appealing. And I'm going to Decorate the jar up a little bit. I've got some Christmas material my aunt gave me, so I'll probably wind up putting that on there. And maybe tie some ribbon around it or some twine or some jute. I don't know yet. Getting them made is my main thing. After I get them made, then I'll worry about it. It was spilt some. We'll just... I'm not going to put that in there off the table. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this bag up. See? I hope you guys can see this all right. Let's put this lid on here and get it out of the way. Piece of twine or jute. 
whatever you want to call it, however you want to call it. You can use ribbon, you can use a rubber band, you can use a twist tie, you can use whatever you want. But all I'm going to do is tie this in a knot on the bag. You can put a bow on it, whatever you want to. And then I'm going to trim this up. Now, I've got this little top here that we don't need all the excess plastic, so I'm gonna trim that off too. And then all you're gonna do is just stick it down in there, and that is it. I'm trying to see where my lid's up. Make sure everything's clean. You wanna make sure everything's clean when working with food. And that's it. That's all there is to it. That is all there is to it. I think I got enough beans to make. I might can make one more jar, but they'll be different color layers than this. But that's a nice little jar of soup, and it, let's see what you gotta add to it. Let's see. It says to cook, of course, take out the seasoning packet, wash up the beans. And it says put four cups of boiling water over beans, cover, and let soak overnight. Now, you don't have to do that. You could put them in the crock pot or you could go ahead and cook them. Just make sure you uh, look your beans and rinse them. So if you do the four cups of boiling water over beans and let it soak overnight, then you drain that water off. But if you're just going to go ahead and cook it, you add six cups of water. Cover, bring to a boil over high heat, stirring occasionally. Reduce the heat to low and simmer one to one and a half hours until the beans are tender. Add your tomatoes, which is two cans of stewed tomatoes. I'm sure you could use diced if you wanted to. You could probably even use tomato sauce if you wanted to. Your seasoning mix, which is the little packet, and liquid smoke if you want it. After you add the seasonings, it says simmer for another 30 minutes, maybe an hour. So, that's it. That's all there is to it. I mean, it makes a good gift, and it's, I'm sure it's probably, I would guess, what, six to eight servings, maybe. That'd be good with some homemade crusty bread. So, that's it for that. All right, guys. I hope that gives you some ideas. Like I said, Christmas is just around the corner, so you need to get busy if you're going to be making stuff. Because it's going to be here before you know it. Um, the next thing I make, I think, is going to be some beer bread. Because I was trying to think of some bread to go with this soup. And one of the, uh, it wasn't a channel, it was, I guess it was a blog I was watching recommended beer bread. And I thought, well... You know, some people like the beer bread because you just, you know, you take the mix and you just add a beer to it. That's pretty much it. So I think I'm going to try to make some of uh, that. And if I do, I'll bring you back. Don't forget about the stickers, guys. We need to sell these stickers. Um, I've sold a few, not very many. So we still got plenty left. So if you want a sticker, remember it's $4 for one. Seven dollars for two, and tell me if you want the van or the sunrise. My grandson is in art school, and he is the one that designed the stickers. Send a self-addressed stamped envelope to R. Courtney, P.O. Box six five five, Pageland, South Carolina, two nine seven two eight. We would appreciate it if you would buy a sticker from us. All right, guys. I need to clean this mess up. And then I'm going to try, I'm going to take my jar sealer and I'm going to seal these jars. Because one thing that I think, at Christmas time, you get all the stuff that people have baked. Or at least you hope you do. And the idea to me of having this type of gift is that this is things you can use in January and February when it's cold. 
and you've already depleted all the Christmas candies and the Christmas snacks and the casseroles and all the stuff that you made for Christmas and New Year's and you ate up the leftover turkey and the leftover ham. You know, this would be good with a ham bone to me. I wouldn't put the liquid smoke in it. I'd put the ham bone in here and cook it. That's, that's what I would do. And then add my seasonings to it. And adjust it, you know, try it. If you want to, try it like it is. And then if you don't like the seasonings or whoever you're thinking about giving it to, you don't think they would like those seasonings, maybe they can't have salt. Leave the salt out. Maybe they can't have sugar. Leave the sugar out. You know, adjust it. That's the whole idea. You know, you're, you're making homemade gifts. You can make them however you wish. And I've got some tags. Let's see. Well, I thought I had them in here. Hold on now. Let me show you the tags I got. I think they're in here. Now there are a lot of free tags on the internet that you can print out. And I've printed some out. In fact, this is some that I've printed out. Just go on there and, and type in free Christmas tags. But I ordered these off of Amazon because I thought they were cute. And you got like a hundred for, I don't know, five, six dollars. And here's what the tag says. It says, this was the best I could do on Christmas Eve. Just type in tags. And don't worry, I kept the receipt. At least it's not a gift card. And let's see what else is on here. I like this is my favorite one. I made this so you can't return it. <laughs> so I, I like that one. Let's see. Oh, here you go. Better look next year. I just thought these were, were cute. Time to practice your I love it face. And here you go. Less is more, right? But these are just so cute. Here you go. I was getting desperate. Please be kind. And what I've been doing is, is tying a tag around these. So if someone buys them for a gift. And if they don't come with the printable instructions. Say like the hash browns I made. I just wrote on the back of the tag the directions. Now it's you know, up to you. Whatever you want to do. I don't have a computer. So I can't go in and design a tag or whatever. So I've just been writing it on the back of the tag. But I just, I like these. And like I said, you can get on the internet and you can find tags that are free to print out. You just need some paper to print on. That's all on a printer, of course. But anyway, all right. Well, I hope you have a good day. Don't forget about the stickers. And uh, if you would, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.